Tonight, Larry Bird no longer is a Celtic. News 4 has just learned that Bird will take the head coaching job with the NBA Indiana Pacers. That news comes just hours after Rick Pitino made his first Boston appearance as the new Celtics coach this afternoon at the Fleet Center. So Rick is in and Larry is out. The Rick Pitino era officially begins. Patino announced today, introduced as the Celtics new head coach and president. Make no mistake about it, the Celtics are Patino's team. He runs the whole show. Fans are hoping this is the start of great things. You know, it could have been even more impressive than it was. They could have wheeled him in in the Pope Mobile. But short of that, it was a grand affair for Rick Patino. Two tiers of cameras to record the event. The parquet floor below him, the banners behind him, and the challenge of a lifetime ahead of him. Pressure to me is the greatest friend you have in life. It's your greatest ally. It forces you to work every minute of every hour of every day. It forces you to work up to your potential. And it gets you to get the message across to all the players that they are representing the greatest tradition in all sports. Uh, we'll make sure that they understand what it is to put that jersey on. In the new order, Red Auerbach becomes vice chairman of the Celts, and ML Carr becomes VP for corporate development. But not only is ML Carr still standing, a claim many of his colleagues can no longer make, ML is still smiling. Obviously, there are other streams of revenue that you want to generate for this organization uh, because, you know, ticket sales and all that will not keep up with the uh, escalating costs of players and coaches. <laughs> Patino said he wants Carr to do the honors on draft day. Patino said all the right things today as the Celts prepare to move forward. It did seem more like a coronation than a news conference, but Patino handled it with style. Uncomfortable? No. I'm uncomfortable uh, and humbled sitting below these banners. Um, but I'm very excited to contribute to the raising of another one. Well, I think that uh, everywhere he's been, he's obviously won. So. As far as next year's concerned, he'll win some games. I don't know how many he's going to win, but uh, before it's all over, I think he'll get the whole thing done. Uh, you know, Rick has been my choice all the way down the line. I, I never dreamed that we would get him. Well, since 1950, the Celtics have met Red R back, but he too will have a new role and title. Red will now be vice chairman of the board. But as Bob Newmeyer tells us, Red seems energized by the Celtic changes. Red Auerbach will be 80 years old in mid-September, and he has seen it all, from the glory of 16 championships to the humiliation of the recent 15-win season. It hurt me a lot, because it's not like me to be associated with a loser. Coach Auerbach is the top of his tradition. Red admits he sees a little of himself in Rick Pitino, a champion of conditioning, of defense, and of fast-break basketball. Does the hiring of Rick Pitino then rejuvenate you in any way? Does it, does it uh, restart your engine even at your age? You know, that's a good question and the answer is yes, Bob. <clears throat> I think, uh, I feel good about it. I really do. He, he was my number one choice of anybody in the country to take over this ball club. Red Auerbach would be the first to tell you that he has a big ego. So I would think does Larry Bird, so does Rick Pitino, so do all successful people. It's, it's a funny kind of ego. It, because it always has one aim, to win.